Indian Navy displayed prowess and preparedness with 75 warships at the prestigious International Fleet Review at Vishakhapatnam. The President Pranam Mukherjee and Prime Minister Narendra Modi inspected ships from 50 countries. Defence Minister Manohar Parikar, three service chiefs, Andhra Pradesh Governor ESL Natsaman and Chief Minister Chandra Babu Naidu were present. President Pranam Mukherjee said, the fleet review signifies our common desire to use the seas to promote peace and cooperation. The President also reviewed the air arm of the Indian Navy in full display with spectacular fly paths by several fixed wing and rotary aircraft comprising 15 formations of 45 aircraft including two formations from the Indian Coast Guard. External Affairs Minister Shishma Swaraj today met Sri Lankan President Maitripala Sirisena and other top leaders in Colombo. A breakthrough in the fisherman issue appeared to be in sight with India inviting Sri Lankan Fisheries Minister for talks. Both countries signed two MOUs on India's assistance to Sri Lanka. India is ready to set up an IT park in Sri Lanka to attract investments in the sector. The External Affairs Minister Shishma Swaraj stated this after inaugurating the Rise of Digital India exhibition in Colombo today. The Rise of Digital India exhibition showcases the initiative of the Indian government to take the benefits of information technology to the common man. Union Finance Minister Arun Jaitley held pre-budget consultations with state finance ministers. Speaking to the media after the meet, the finance minister said states have asked for extra resources for push to agriculture sector and poverty alleviation. Finance Minister Arun Jaitley today said adjudication in matters of telecom and broadcasting services needs to be expedited. He said this is necessary as technology is fast changing in these sectors. Addressing a seminar on telecom and broadcasting in New Delhi, the Finance Minister said, since the country is moving towards the age of convergence, that is why broadcasting and telecom services brought under common regulatory authority. Security arrangement has been tightened in Odisha ahead of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's one-day tour of the state tomorrow. The Prime Minister will dedicate the 15 million metric tons per annum oil refinery at Paradeep and the National Institute of Science, Education and Research on the outskirts of Bhuvaneshwar to the nation. He will also visit Puri to seek blessings of Lord Jagannath. Cartoonist Sudhir Thailang passed away today at Medanta Hospital in Gurgaon. Thailang was born in Bikaner of Rajasthan. Thailang, who made his first cartoon in 1970, started his career with the Illustrated Weekly of India, Mumbai, in 1982. In Chhattisgarh, 10 Naxals have surrendered in Sukma district. The capitulation took place in the presence of the Bastar Range Inspector General of Police and senior officials. The rebels who pledged to shun violence were given immediate cash assistance. Union Power Minister Piyush Goel has said that government has completed electrification work in nearly one-third of the 18,452 unelectrified villages. He told reporters in New Delhi that 5,026 villages have been electrified. He also said electrification works in these villages faced several challenges as most of the areas were Naxal hit, besides having hilly terrain and dense forestation. In Taiwan, at least five people have died in a powerful earthquake. More than 30 people are feared trapped. The 6.4 magnitude quake struck in the middle of the night. The city of Tianan bore the brunt of the damage. An entire residential complex containing almost 100 homes toppled to the ground. A fire at a hotel in the capital of Iraq's Kurdistan region killed 17 people on Friday. 14 of the dead were from the Philippines, while three Iraqis, a Palestinian and another person of unknown nationality also died. Dozens more were injured and taken to hospital in Arbil. U.S. astronaut Edgar Mitchell, who is the sixth man to walk on the moon, has died at the age of 85. Captain Mitchell passed away at a hospice in West Palm Beach, Florida, one day before the 45th anniversary of his moon landing. As part of the Apollo 14 missions in 1971, he spent more than nine hours on the moon conducting experiments. India opened their medal account with cyclist T. Vijay Lakshmi grabbing the first gold in the 12th South Asian Games in the women's 30-kilometer individual time trial final on the first day of the competitions on Saturday. The Manipuri cyclist won the event in 49 minutes and 24 seconds. The Indian Premier League 2016 auction got off to an exciting start as the likes of Shane Watson, Yuvraj Singh, Ishant Sharma and Kevin Peterson received big bids. Royal Challengers Bangalore splurged 9.5 crores on Shane Watson. Sunrisers Hyderabad spent 12.5 crore rupees of their 30.15 crore rupee purse on Yuvraj Singh and Ashish Nehra. The new IPL entrants, rising Pune Super Giants, purchased Kevin Peterson for 3.5 crore rupees.